in the alleyways of Reno, Nevada, there is one city within a city. In Reno, near downtown, there's a magical place where if you want to go to a barber shop, you can. Oh, you can. I did this myself. If you want to drink a snobby cup of coffee, you can. If you want to dress like you're from a different era, you can. If you want to get your ears pierced, nose pierced, tattoos, and tight jeans, you go to Midtown Reno. What is this? What is this? What are these orange trees sprouting on South Virginia? We are doing a construction update. One of the cool things about Midtown, it's where old Reno buildings are mixed with New Reno buildings. If you like myself or I need of a rainbow purse, there's one right there. You need it. I need it. We all need it. No one needs a rainbow purse. Oh look! Another barber shop. They don't have a rainbow purse there. I know there are a lot of cities that are doing this urban expansion projects. But I'll tell you what, our little Reno one is pretty fan freaking tastic. Yep, they've been adding in a lot of new stuff, and supposedly all of this construction is supposed to make it safer to walk around over here. So I'll we'll have to see when they get done, because so far it just looks like cones. <laughs> One of the sad things about all these advancements though is when local businesses open and then close up. It is really sad actually. Get us all excited, then no one shops there. A lot of these buildings have had pretty fast turnarounds and other things move in pretty quick. That's true. The murals are pretty strong over here, lots of them. But this right here was one of my favorite shops. Happy Happy Joy Joy. Fun little toy store emporium that closed up. We were actually going to review it at one point. I loved that store. They had um, the Living Dead dolls, which were these dolls I liked when I was a kid and they had them here and they were fun and creepy. But man, this construction goes on for a while. It's a big project. We popped into a local favorite, Recycled Records. Recycled Records, it doesn't suck. <laughs> this has been one of my favorite stops for quite a while. I'll be able to look through the history of records and other things. They've got a big collection. We asked them how the construction's been affecting them. It doesn't seem like it's affecting them much, but a lot of these local startups, I'm sure it's affecting them more. But we hope that you, watching this, still come down here, still come check out some of these local favorites. We, we have a good time down here. Yeah, there are still places to park around here. It's just a little bit of a walk, which honestly, at the end of the day, is good for you. I'm out, it's cold, you can do it too. Trust me, I'm like the laziest person ever and I'm here. <laughs> They've got some great diagonal parking. 
check this out. It, it, it's kind of nice to have, especially since all the construction's happening. Still come down, there's still concerts going on, bars that serve root beer, all sorts of things. Root beer. Well, that's kind of all that's happening. It's kind of cold outside right now. The Midtown area is under construction. Some businesses are thriving while others are not. So, if you want to see local businesses thrive in Reno, just make it a point to go visit those that probably don't get visited as much and give them some love and buy them and you buy yourself some things. Treat yourself nice. Get a rainbow purse because you need it. On the corner of Center and Pine is now known as Little Portland. That's where the hipsters go. Other than Midtown? Because I thought Midtown was where no, so the hipsters Midtown's go. No, Midtown's where the hipsters go, but Little Portland's where the hipsters go. <laughs> oh, we're good. We drive a smart car. Yeah, we're good. We hipsters. Hot dang! Free parking! Woo! Woo! I high-fived it. So some of the reasons this little area is called Little Portland is because of the businesses that are moving in shop here. There are some apartments going in. Commonwealth Barber Company. Pine State Biscuits. I've heard they do some pretty mean biscuits and gravies. CC's Coffee Co, which we reviewed on Coffee Snob Reno last year. And then, the newest edition, Famous Sizzle Pie Pizza. Which means, it's pizza time. Definitely a cool little location right behind the Patagonia outlet in downtown Reno. These fireplaces and string lights would be great during the summertime. In the hours, are Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. through 3 a.m. Friday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 a.m. So in other words, this place stays open very late. Pizza late at night. That's good to know though. 3 a.m., oh my goodness. Jones cane soda here. Pizza. The size of my head. Huge vegan and vegetarian pizzas, man. Nice. And that was Sizzle Pie. They sell it by the slice. They sell vegan whole pizzas that look amazing. And they have this one that I want to order. It's got buffalo, jackfruit, and it's all vegan and looks amazing. They also had um, Jones soda in a fountain. 
That was a very nice experience. Thank you, Sizzle Pie, for coming to Reno. Thank you guys so much for watching, joining us, checking out a little bit of Little Portland in Reno. And thank you for coming with us to check out what's going on with the construction. We talked to a couple of people that run businesses down there, and they've said a lot of the like more established businesses are doing really well, but some of those newer ones are struggling a little bit. So if you're in the neighborhood and you want to try something new, this would be a really good time to support some small local businesses. Thank you for watching this episode of Classy Bird Vlogs. 2019 we're in strong guys thank you guys so much for watching um, we hope you subscribe hit that like button and that notification bell for more and you my friend you stay classy tweet 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 has been brought to you by Rainbow Purses. If you would like to purchase a rainbow purse, please go to classybirdvlogs.com for more information. Road work ahead.